YouTube. What's going on? This is Unashamed J. Welcome back to the podcast, man. I am sorry for leaving you guys high and dry. I think it's been about 20, 21 days that I haven't posted anything. That's because I was going through a little sickness. Yeah, yeah. It was it was a little it was a little bad. Um nothing that God couldn't do, right? And and help me out with that. But now I had a uh a mild to severe uh chest cold or like a uh, chest infection and man it had me coughing up mucus and yeah man everything. So, you know, I was out uh my voice was changed a little bit, so but yeah, so that's what happened. Um, and then just getting back my strength, uh, just eating soups and taking all my vitamins and things like that. And uh, but nah, it's been well, man. God has been good. So it didn't. I didn't have to be hospitalized or anything like that. Just had to stay home, rest up, take medicine, and you know, relax. But I'm good, man. God is good. I'm good. I hope you all are good out there for real. But I want to talk about something, man. That is uh, dear to my heart. And it's the city of Chicago. Chicago, Chicago. Man, my city. You know, I'm I'm from here. I'm a Chicago native. Um, even though, you know, I, I moved around quite a bit <laughs> in my life. Uh, I'm always going to consider myself a uh, Chicago native. Um. I'm a Sox guy. I'm not a Cubs, right? And so all my Sox fans out there, you already know what's up, Southside. <laughs> but uh, no, so that's just one thing about me that uh, if you didn't know, now you know. Uh, I moved around a lot, but uh, in the different cities of Chicago, uh, different cities of uh, Illinois, um, South Suburbs, right? Uh, southeast side of Chicago so I've been around and uh, but I'm here I've been stable and God has been good man for real but Chicago man what's going on with y'all why we can't seem to get along and sit back and realize man that all we doing is continuing to hurt ourselves man nobody is winning out of this situation that y'all putting yourself in. Murdering. Carjacking people. I mean. I don't get it. I can say I get it. Because. I can try to put myself. In you guys' shoes. Right? Being in poverty. Staying in Inglewood. Staying out west somewhere. Right? I mean I get it. It's tough out here, especially when you grew up in it. That's all you know. But that can't be all you know, right? Because there's more to life than just your block, than just the city, downtown. You know, I know some of y'all dudes don't even go downtown. Y'all just stuck in y'all little area in y'all hood. On y'all block, man. But a lot of y'all dudes, man, y'all just need to wake up. Wake up, man. (sighs) Just smell the reality coffee. And just realize, man, that you guys are put here on this earth, man, for a better job than what y'all doing now. Way better. Because what y'all doing now, man, is leading y'all to death. Is leading all to death. And I don't know if some of y'all like the fact that y'all are gonna die or what. But it's not what's up, man. It's not, man. And all the young dudes out there, man, who wanna get into gangs and tote their guns and talk back to their mamas and live on the block with their homies and Whatever, man. I get it, bro. You want to feel accepted. You want to feel like dudes 
understand you. You're not getting the love back in your mama house. Daddy not there. Maybe he is there, but he whooping the mess out of y'all. He's just so angry, right? Not showing you love. Man, I get it, bro. If anybody know, I know, right? Because I ain't never had a father in my life tell me and show me that they love me, right? So trust me, I know. But that's all right, you know, because there's one father that I know of that was always there, but I just never knew it. And his name is God, man. Right? And Jesus Christ is he. So that's who the Heavenly Father is. And when you turn to him and really seek him, you're going to have your moments where you're going to want to creep back and go back to the hood and go back on the block and hang out with them fools. But I'm telling you, man, just be diligent in God's word. You stay up. You get people to understand that this is the life that you live in now. I don't want to go back to the hood. I don't want to go back to game banging. I don't want to go back to disrespect of my mama, my family members, creating pain and hurt all throughout my family. I got two or three little boys that I'm looking after. Can't even be a good father to them. Because I don't know the next day Homies might come and try to smoke me I don't know But I'm telling you now I don't want to live that life no more And guess what If they don't want to respect you for it Then so be it man. God is more proud of you Than these people will ever feel About you When you make that decision and come to him And repent Of your sins and stop acting the way that you're acting and realize that you are a man created by God himself and to do the works of him to be the light on this earth that's what you're called to do brother sister people out there who just think it's a game shooting, killing, robbing we gotta stop doing that man and I'm saying me because you can throw me in there doing stupid things, right? Like I always told people, I did a lot of, a lot of stupid things, but I just never got caught. And that's not to brag. That's just the God's honest truth. But I'm not stupid enough to act like what I did made me invincible because it didn't. Because I realized that God was just protecting me. I can't vouch for nobody else. I can only vouch for what God did in my life. And because he knew that I would get it. He knew that I would understand that what he did for me was to protect me. And to put me in position in life to where I'm at right now. Right? So that's why I believe he never caught me. Because I did some things that really could have gave me some time. And I'm just grateful that God woke me up. And he snapped me out of this fake reality that I thought was reality, but it wasn't. So, that's one thing, man, I want you Chicago Cats, man, to know. Is the light is always bright. At the end of the tunnel. Your life don't have to end. On the cold street. Of Chicago. The hot street. Of Chicago. It don't matter. Y'all blood don't need to be keep. Keep getting spilled. Over revenge. Over get backs. Over all these things That don't mean nothing Nothing Now you telling me That you guys are willing to die For something stupid And when I say stupid Cause homie 
there's people that's gonna die, man. Regardless, whether you know them, that's close to you, or they're your fam, or whatever. But trying to get get backs ain't helping out nobody. And you know that. You have to know that, right? Because God has given everybody at least a sense of common sense. Everybody has common sense. Right? Not everybody is, is saved. But I believe God gives everybody a chance to have some common sense, right? And you know when you're doing wrong. Right? That's you, you can't that's not debatable. Right? But I'm was reading in the book of Romans and um in chapter 12 and verse 18, it says, you know, if it is possible, right, as much as you depend on it, live peaceably with all men. So say that again in Romans chapter 12, verse 18 says, if it is possible, as much as depends on you, live peaceably with all men. So it's telling you the Holy Scriptures, God is the word, right? So he's telling us to if if we hey it's it's up to us to live peaceably with all men. So it's all right, man, to wanna drop your gun, shake the homie hand or your op hand, and be like, look, bro, we got bigger and better things that we need to do. Now I know y'all It's not gonna That's just my faith And my wishful thinking That most of y'all young dudes Or even older cats would do Put down your guns And go out there man And really make some legal money It's out there to make I'm making legal bread At one point I wasn't You get what I'm saying? It just takes time and most of y'all dudes want it quick now in a hurry. But it takes time, man, to build consistency. To build that leverage that you can finally say, okay, good, man, I can move into a better neighborhood, man. I can get my shorties out of here and move into a good school system. That's what we need to be thinking of instead of trying to get mad because homie talking to your girl or you know this dude done dissed your dead homie and all this other stuff like come on man it's not worth dying over get your life right get it right with Christ seriously let Jesus man help you all with whatever pain that you're going through and I know that a lot of so called Christians have tainted the view of what being a Christian is and what it's like. So I'm saying I apologize for the real Christians out here like me. I apologize that you guys had to see people who claim to be Christian, which just mean to be Christ like, and they showed you nothing of that. So I apologize. But let me tell you something not all Christians. Are phony. Not all Christians play games. Not all Christians are holier than thou. We know that we're not, but there's certain standards, commandments, right? Morals that we live by now. And we execute those each and every day. That's the difference between the real Christian and the fake ones. The Bible says to not to be hearers of thy word, but be doers. A lot of people hear word, but they don't do word. That's backwards. And it's tough to do right. I get it. All the Chicago people out here, whoever listen, man, one person, it's all good. But one of y'all going to understand, man, and wake up and realize that it's just not worth it to keep having revenge. It's not worth it to try not to live peaceably with men, with brothers, with sisters, with the people around you. Instead, everybody looking left and right over their shoulder, paranoid, 
not knowing when that next bullet going to come. So it's not worth it, right? It's not worth it. So let me read Romans chapter 12 and verse 2 for you. And it says, and do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. So be not transformed, right? Be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. So we have to renew our mind, ladies and gents. It starts with your mind. If <laughs> It takes a lot to own up to who you are as a person and to realize that you need to change. It takes a lot. Right, took a lot for me to do it. So it's going to take the next person and the next person and the next person. It's going to be tough. It's going to be tough in the fact that a lot of people are not going to change because they don't want to accept who they really are as a person. And that's what sucks about humanity. Is that everybody knows what their addiction is, if you have one. Everybody knows what they're weak in. Everybody knows what they're most powerful in. Everybody knows what triggers them. Right? So we got to think about these things and, and be real with ourselves and come to the realization that we all need help. Right? Right? Jesus is that help talking to another brother or sister that you can trust that can help right being in the like mindedness of another person that helps telling somebody you can trust that helps so that way we know what to pray for but you gotta be honest and you gotta set yourself free and be honest about yourself you guys are hurting. Poverty level is high right now in Chicago, throughout the world. And some of you guys are stuck. Some, Most of you dropped out of high school, middle school, to be in the streets. So a lot of you guys are not book smart. And that sucks. And that ain't me bashing, that's just me being honest. Because I hate to see not just young brothers, but our young people out here playing and thinking that they are invincible when they are not. God can stop anybody's heart just like that. You won't even know it. So we're not invincible. But we fall under God's grace and his mercy for us to still be here living. So anybody here living, if you're in Chicago and you're still living, praise God for it. Thank the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for it. Even if you don't know who he is, that's who he is. That's everyone's Lord whether people want to believe it or not. That's the faith that I have in him and what he did for my life. So I pray for the city of Chicago. I pray that most of our young brothers and sisters in the Lord and our people who is not in the Lord, I pray that we all will be mature and ask God for wisdom on what we should do, what our next steps should be, how far we should move. Lord, what should my next job be? Just pray on it. Ask him, seek him diligently, continue to pray. If you haven't fasted, fast, but continue 
to put your face in that book, the Holy Scriptures. Let God be our refuge. Put the guns down, man. We don't have to shoot and kill each other, man. Tell some jokes. Be funny. It's a lot of people that need to laugh out here, okay? And for the people that really know me, know I'm really a funny cat, right? So, just, man, life is already hard, okay? Dealing with daily things spiritually is, is tough. So, we have to make light of it. We have to laugh, man. You guys find something to make you laugh, man. Just as long as it's not, you know, you're not laughing at nothing perverted. You're not laughing at anything that's mocking God or anything like that. But whatever makes you laugh, man, just do it, man. It's all right to change. It's not lame to change. It's not. Right? It's what's up, man. That's what's gangster. What's gangster is waking up, knowing who you are in God. And making a change for you, your family, and the people around you. That's what's gangster. Not all the stuff y'all doing in the street trying to prove. Nothing. Be gangster and live out your life the best way that you can, man. All right? Chicago, I'm unashamed, Jay. I love y'all. I love the world. Because God wants us to. Right? But I love Illinois. I love Chicago, right? That's my home. I pray for y'all each and every day. I hope somebody who ever listened to this from Illinois, man, would wake up, hear what I'm saying. No, it's not hate. I just want to speak the truth. All right, I love y'all, and I'll see you guys in the next pod. I'm out. Love y'all. Peace.